Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpentex Tech, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the cryptocurrency with the ticker symbol FITA, FITA, um, which is also has a name called Teda. So I'm not sure why they chose that name because I know that could be a marketing issue because there's so many different cryptocurrency and projects out there with that same ticker. But we're going to be looking about looking at its profitability, right? Because it's a CPU mineable coin. Uh, it runs on the same algorithm, Ghostwriter. Uh, just like Raptorium and stuff like that, but I wanted to show you some of its performance and I'm doing it in this format because it's hot here in Florida in my house and I'm CPU and GPU mining, which obviously the heat is going to impact the CPU and GPU's hash rates and performance. But before we get started, quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by BT Miners and on their website, you can sign up for their newsletter to get special offers or coupons depending on the service or product that they're offering and their new website does bring a number of elements into the fold. For example, it's mining profitability calculator. Just like ASIC miner value, you can see what is the most profitable miner or cryptocurrency to mine at that time. Their miners range all the way from script algorithm to ETC hash, and they also offer repair services for ASICs or miners. Now, obviously, if you have a really old ASIC that parts aren't carried anymore, that might be a little bit harder, but just reach out to their services. See if they have a way to help you repair it. If you can't have your ASICs or your miners in-house with you or at your location, you may want to consider hosting services. Now, while I can't speak to all of these various elements of BT miners because I haven't had one-on-one -on -one experience, do check them out. And by supporting them, you're supporting the channel, and I couldn't thank you enough. But let's get back to the video. All right, so we all know about mining pool stats dot stream. You go here and you click on uh, new coins and you can see the new coins. Now, Teta has been out for a few days now, three days at time of recording. By the time you see this, probably uh, a week and some change. And it is called T-E-T-H-E-T-A. So same name that we're all too familiar with. And obviously, some of the pools that are on it are plant, Zerg pool, Z, uh, Z pool, so on and so forth. Remember, scroll down because we're going to need some information from here. Now, this exchange, I'm not too familiar with but we can see that uh, this is the current USD rate that's obviously going to fluctuate day to day but we're going to need that information and by going to one of these other pools like our plant we can see what the difficulty is and we can see what the block reward is now we take that information and we're going to go to what to mine and we're going to plug in all that information now I have my hash rate really low because again it's hot so I'm averaging almost 3,000 hashes but I'm not hitting the max that I should be right because again it is hot here uh, I have my GPU mining Kapow uh, which is obviously making my uh, system temperatures hot if we look here my liquid temperature for my CPU cooler is at almost 42 degrees Celsius not good but it's hot and it's still nowhere near 60 degrees Celsius which is the max so we plug in the information I give it a low hash rate right so 2 kilo hash 140 watts of power 10 cent per kilowatt hour 1% fees block reward 47.50 um, hardware cost, we just leave that alone. Difficulty, obviously we put that in because we got it from our plant itself. That's going to adjust or change. So if you're watching this, make sure you update the information. Don't copy my figures exactly. For exchange rate, again, if we use mining pool stats stream and scroll down, we can see the exchange rate for this particular token. We take that and we plug that into, uh, you know, uh, USD to BTC calculator. And I actually have it a little bit lower. Uh, than what it said there now because it just changed and when we plug in that information we can see here that with our Ryzen 5900X um, we will be earning about almost 600 of this token a day and making roughly 20 cents in fiat 20 cents USD 54 overall per day now if we compare that to Raptorium at the same configuration obviously not touching the block rewards difficulty or exchange rate leaving it stock if we hit calculate we will see that we're actually losing 11 cents a day uh, in fiat, but we're still making 83 uh, Raptorium a day, total uh, of 22, excuse me, yeah, 22 cents, no, what is that? So profit's a negative 11 cents, cost is 34 cents, and then the actual fiat value, if we weren't paying for electricity, would be 22 cents. So this token, FIDA, um, or TEDA, whatever you want to call it, is actually profitable to mine with this Ryzen uh, AMD CPU. The only cost is, is obviously heat. It's hot in my room. 
it's hot um, in Florida and it just sucks. But I am profitable mining this particular token, which is new. So that's one of the beauties about spec mining, as you saw with some of my other uh, videos. Uh, you know, if you catch a project at the right time, you might do good. Whether or not this token will get picked up on other exchanges and stuff like that, it's going to be really hard to tell. Nobody can predict that. But with a name that conflicts with a lot of other projects out there, like Tether is a very popular crypto project or cryptocurrency name, I could see this being a problem. But that, was, that isn't what this video is about. I just wanted to share this bit of information with you, show you, uh, you know, for example, I'm, mount, I'm mining, mining, golly, I can't talk. I'm mining um, Meowcoin with my GPU, my 3070 Ti on this system. And then I'm CPU mining Tether, and it's obviously pushing some serious heat into my overall system. GPU is still good because I get to cool my GPU uh, copper plate on there. Still not getting as hot as it could be, even though it's much warmer in my room. And the CPU, let's look at those temperatures real quick. It looks like we're still looking pretty good uh, with the max being 79 degrees Celsius on one CPU. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out some links in the description that help support the channel. Um, and I greatly appreciate all your help. Obviously, the hash rate you're seeing is not the final hash rate. It's warm, and I'm not pushing my CPU as hard as I could. Okay? I know what we could hit with the 5900X. I'm just not hitting it because it's hot. You all take care. I'll catch you next one. Thank you.